your rolling, huh? Okay, let's get on with this show. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, kids. Thanks for buying Scat, man. I love you. I really do. So, uh, th th this is all spontaneous. You want to hear some stuff from me, huh? Okay. I'm the Scat Man. Do you know why I'm Scat Man? Because I'm a scat singer. Do you know what scatting is? Scatting is an attempt to take a jazz solo or a music solo, just plain solo, with the human voice. For example, Scooby Dooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby Wah Wah, Ooby Dee 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 Scat singing. What do you think of that, huh? So, I want to thank all of you for buying Scat Man. I never dreamed in a thousand years that a scat singer would ever be on MTV. Can you beat that, guys? MTV, here it is, live and real. How My, do you, sorry, how do you feel about this amazing success all of a sudden? Apparently, kids of all ages are enjoying scat singing. And apparently, it isn't, it, it, it's kind of an obscure art form. But to me, I've been scat singing all my life, man. I mean, oh, also, zero in on the vest. Look at the vest. It's got Mickey and Pluto and Donald. And everybody is on here. All my favorite child cartoon characters. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a grown-up man here. I can't be acting like a child. So, yes, um, I forgot your question, Mona. No, Would I you mean, you, the thing is, um, tell us something about your, your musical experience so far. I mean, oh. how it all got started and... and I am a jazz piano player without a jazz attitude. You know what that means? It means that indeed I love playing jazz piano, but I had to learn to take off my jazz mask to become a human being. You know, you know what that means? It means that I spent years and years and years trying to be cool and hip and all of that which had nothing to do with jazz music. It was all an image, a genre I was trying to put out because I was afraid to show you who I really was. And uh, I think I was ashamed of myself for years because I happen to be a person who stu stutters. I've been stuttering ever since I've been speaking. Uh, I used m music to hide it. I had to be cool and hit because I didn't want to show you who I really was. I did not want to be just only John. And unfortunately, guys, what you see is what you get. I'm just only John. Uh, John has a talent. And I really appreciate all of you taking an interest in the talent. The whole Scatman project is about something positive. It's part of the solution rather than part of the problem. Scatman writes all of his own words, and the words are intended to pick certain social situations and offer a positive way to handle them. Um, Scatman has been spending the last 10 years of his life learning to become friends with himself. And that's quite a project, quite a project. Because I used to have inferiority complexes. I thought that people were more than, more than me. And I thought, I, I used to be so crazy, but now I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. In what, way, in what way was music very important for you then, to come to terms with your own, I don't know, personality and? My. I had to find some other way to speak. I found that I could speak much easier and say a lot more through playing music, through singing, through improvising on the piano. I found that it was safe to talk that way. Uh, uh, 
Stuttering has turned from a handicap into an asset. I mean that. It's only because Scatman stutters that Scatman is happening. If you've heard the words to Scatman, part of the words are, everybody's saying that the Scatman stutters but doesn't ever stutter when he sings. But what you don't know, I'm gonna tell you right now, that the stutter and the scat are the same thing. And they actually are. Stuttering and scat singing is real close. Stuttering is a hesitation, trying to get the words out. Scat singing is freed stuttering, free. See, it's great. So, yeah, nice to be on MTV. Hi, hi, mom, hi, dad. Did I say that? Things are very cruel about these things sometimes, you see. Everybody has a big, whether you're too thick, too yeah. thin, yeah. whether you can't walk properly, if you have speech impediment. Yeah. The world is cruel, isn't it? You see? Yeah, especially in childhood. Kids, kids tend to be cruel. Um, but I believe that creation g g gives us setbacks on purpose because it takes strength to overcome them. If we d d didn't have problems, we couldn't grow and change and become the human beings that creation intended us t t to be. Uh, I think that creation intends us all to be happy. I think creation intends us all to feel whole and good and to try to communicate. Communication. Um, the world is waiting for the sunrise and I think it's coming. I think between the forests and the oceans and the pollution and the hole in the ozone and all of this stuff, right now is the greatest time for a human being to be alive on the face of the earth because even the politicians now have to do something about it, don't we, fellas? You know? We have to implement a change somehow. We've got to stop eating away at the earth or the earth is going to eat us. Heavy, profound, but true. That's what I mean. I, I wish more musicians speak out about that because I think that's quite a responsibility they have. You've got a voice, you see. People listen to you. Yeah. And that's good. See, that's like good. That. I'm so honored. The thing is, um, when, why did you decide to come to Europe to try out your, your music there? And what did you find different here? I had to come to Europe. I had to go someplace to find a career. Uh, I don't think America takes care of its jazz artists as well as it could. There, I said it. I love my country. I think um, America is young, however. I think it, it's a teenager compared to uh, other countries. Uh, um, America, please don't hate me, but will you please take care of your artists? I had to come over here to find a c career. I found a career. I found that people in Europe are hearing me. And now, because they're hearing me all over here, now I'm going to be released over in America. And uh, you, you know, um, it's perfectly OK, because I knew somewhere, sometime, I would find an audience to hear me. And the young people of all ages, but the young people, are taking an interest in scat singing. I think that's marvelous. I think that's just great. Because it sure is a happy art form. Isn't that happy? Yeah, man. Yeah. And when you're playing here um, on concerts and stuff, do people come up, uh, your fans come up to you and talk to you? How does that work then? The kids are clapping their hands. They're saying, ski, ba, 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 do. Everybody's answering, answering it. Uh, they're out there dancing, man. It's a pleasure to play concerts for people that are really appreciating it. It's great. I am like a 53-year-old kid in a candy store. I'm having a ball, having a ball. Uh, Scatman is intended to, to be something positive, and I think it's starting to penetrate, you know? It's a very positive attempt to offer a solution. Yes, yes indeed, kids. Do you know what I mean? Am I really on MTV? Oh my goodness gracious. Hi there, hi there. What kind of solution is it? I mean, apparently your projects seem to bridge the gap between, I don't know, earnest 
solemn jazz music and party feeling. Is that so? All music is jazz. I'll say it again. All music is jazz. Jazz is all music. Because, man, it's something very simple, very basic. One, two, three, four, one, two. All music you hear is variations of one, two, three, four. It all depends. Do you mean what you're saying in your music? Is, uh, d d does it have heart? Because it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing, see? Um, there's good music and there's some that isn't so good. Uh, you know, all you gotta do is mean it. Find sincerity in yourself and express it any way that you can. You, know? you call yourself like um, the professor, is that true? Can you say that maybe? Why uh, is it like that? My friends call me the professor. And it's because whenever I put on glasses, I tend to take on a professor look like Professor John. My, my jazz compatriots have called me the professor. Uh, and uh, it's cute. I don't, I'm not actually a professor, no. Um, but I profess good music, man. Good music, man. And it's coming out, isn't it? By Joe. What is the message of, of, your, of your song, then? The m m message of Scatman is anybody out there who has something going on inside of them or outside of them that's holding them back. Maybe you're supposed to have that for a purpose. Uh, there's an old saying I heard, if it doesn't kill you, it will gradually serve you, and it's true. Your greatest fear and pain can turn around to be your servant. It's true. It's true for me, and I think it can be true for all of us. I mean, what, how do you feel about the video? Great. Great. What did you like? What did you like about it? I like that I could just stand up there and feel any way I felt. And say scoop, hitty bitty 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 ski, ba 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 do, scoop, hado bitty 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 I don't think music needs to be mean anymore. Revolution, kill a cop. I don't think it needs to be that. Because if you kill anybody or anything, you inherit the very violence that you kill. Does that make sense? That makes perfectly sense. Yes. It's very true. What do you think? It's true. So, strictly between us kids, the show has been temporarily interrupted. Some people came in on a pair of roller skates. Look at the roller skates. Can you look at roller skates? Just came in on my TV interview. Can you beat that? <laughs> Did your life change now through all these, I don't know, media hype and traveling and stuff like that? It's changed because I get to communicate to a lot more people. And to have it accepted is something that I can't get used to. People like Scatman. And I like people, I always have. But to have, to have my music finally accepted is a thrill that I was trying to feel that for so long that I forgot that I was even trying to f feel that sense of wholeness. And now I find that since I quit searching for that sense of wholeness and acceptance, that it's coming to me. And it's like, what a great feeling. It makes me want to give it back. It makes me feel like taking all of those kids of all ages and just saying, thank you, thank you, signing a hop. Autographs. I'll sign every autograph no matter how long it takes. See, uh, 
pop star kids are only an image. It's only an image. I don't need to be a pop star, but I do need to communicate. That's important. Yeah. Really. Was that the main part you were missing during all these years in America? Can you tell us something? How, how, how does it feel, I mean, being so full of spirit and music and wanting to communicate and then, I don't know, not getting the proper reception? Jazz as an art form really requires people to have, have time, patience, open ears, receptivity, and who's got time for that now? The world is going at a fast pace. So I understand why audiences don't have time to just come in and, and hear jazz. Um, but you're hearing it now on Scatman. So I, I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. All I know is it's happening, man, and I am having a ball. I'm a 53-year-old kid in a candy store, man. You know? And it's because of you guys out there. Yeah. Heavy stuff, man. I mean, so that was, Scotland was only the start, wasn't it? I mean, uh, tell, you, tell us something about your upcoming album project, maybe. Oh. I have a follow-up single coming out now. It's going to be called Scatman's World. It's the title track to the album. In Scatman's World, listen to the words, great words. Uh, in Scatman's World on the album, I try to pick certain social situations and I try to offer a way to handle them. Uh, and in that way of offering a way to handle it, I offer a, a way to find peace in yourself. Find peace in yourself. If you're not friends with yourself, you don't have a chance. Um, the world is in utter chaos. Isn't that wonderful? Utter chaos, oh my God. And uh, we gotta find peace, man. We gotta find peace inside of ourselves. Uh, part of the words to Hatman's world are, I'd, I wanna be a human being and not a human d d d doing. I couldn't keep that pace up if I tried. The source of my intention really isn't crime prevention. My intention is prevention of the lie. And uh, I think society today is in a process of change. I think the world now needs to embrace more spirituality, which requires, first of all, becoming friends with yourself, you know? It takes time, though, so be patient. Don't beat yourselves up. Ah. Oh, that was, that was quite a lesson, wasn't it? I yeah, hope they I stick to it. it. I can't help it. I try to walk the things I talk. That's, it's, it's important for me because I was a mess until 1986 when I decided to get some help and I straightened out. And I found out these things about myself, which I'm just trying to pass on. Yeah. I'm just trying to pass it on. Well, that's yeah. good. Because good. Because I think uh, people, yeah. a lot of young people are stuck in their personal mess and don't really, I don't know, yeah. nobody really talks about those things, you see. And yeah. all you get is like, you get, up, get idols being presented to you, a false world which you think might be the yeah. world you should be seeking well, for, you see. I don't know if it's the same thing today, but when I grew up, I was taught, it isn't who I am, it's what I do. I am n n n not who I am, that doesn't matter. And that is wrong. As soon as I found out that I'm enough, just the way I am, was the very same day I wanted to do something with my life. But when I don't know who I am and I'm stuck in confusion and problems, I have to do something then to survive. But as soon as I found peace inside of me and I found out I'm okay, I wanted to help people and tell them, hey, everything is all right, man, in spite of the world and the craziness. Everything is all right, have a good time. You know, nobody knows what's happening. Everything that we conform to today is a human being's idea, and they may not be the correct idea. So I would suggest just uh, take your time, kids. Take your time. The world is going too fast. We don't need to keep up that pace. 
What is your biggest wish? I mean, if you could, I don't know, your personal wish. Meeting somebody or experiencing You want me to sound corny? You okay. really want me to sound? It. Here it is, kids. You've heard it before. I want to see one world, one people. Please, now, stop the war. Stop the internal conflict. Politicians, grow up. Did I say that? Oh, God, how dare Scatman say something like that? You don't want that. them to grow up. They should be, become more like kids. That's the point. Yeah, right? that's what I'm trying to say, isn't it? And that's what growing up is. Tune into the child inside of you, everybody. Because we're all kids. We haven't changed a bit. It's all just cover-ups and pretense. What do you do, I mean, in order to, to train your, your vocal cords? I mean, you have an exceptional voice. Is there something you... You have to do for that? Sometimes it's hard to wake up because I'm in hotels and say, because people say, where's that sound coming from? I used to get, um, I would have quartets and quintets playing in my front room when I was really into playing jazz. And all we got was police at the door and complaints and complaints and complaints. So, uh, I just, the first thing I do every day is uh, I get up, have a cup of coffee, go to the bathroom, <laughs> and say my prayers. Important stuff. Try to connect. And the rest just comes naturally <clears throat> during the, the day. The rest is just, okay, God, I'm going to go this way, and if I should come into a stone wall, I'm going to turn left. I'm not going to push that wall down the easiest way possible to take your time. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, Mona. Thank you. <laughs>